So guys, I've got my cousin here today and we're making a new tank. This is the tank I cleaned out. I posted a short video, just I just made one for fun without filming, but I've took that all out because it was just really hard to maintain. So we're gonna make this today. I think we're gonna fill it up with half water. Yeah. Like put some frogs in it. We don't know what we're gonna put in it yet, actually, so we're gonna yeah. film us going and trying to find yeah, some we'll stuff. Film us going and finding some stuff later. We're putting all of the substrate in the bottom, so we've got some of this normal soil. I, I find it works all right because the plants grow out of water fine, and um, it just you just leave it over time when the, it, all the soil just goes back down. And we're gonna have stones and gravel and stuff over the top of it. Yeah, so we're gonna be putting the soil in now. We're gonna gain it up at the back more, so the plants at the back have more space to put the grow their roots in. So the gravel we're going to have this just it's not any old gravel it's just I've just bought it from a shop Hinton Parva if you want to go there really good shop and the there's one if you live near uh, to Oxford sort of place there's one called Maidenhead Aquatics which is a one it's really good shop as well. All of the pebbles on, gravel now, on the top. So we're going to put. We some haven't got hard much. Skate. Well, sand. We haven't got much sand. We're going to nope. put just a bit at the front. It's a bit hard because it's been it's been got a bit wet in the rain. So it's still fine. It's still plants are still growing. It. Roots are still getting to them. See so what the good thing about the sand is. It doesn't make it look unneat. Yeah, because sand can be natural in any way, shape, or form. Exactly. Where sometimes people just put loads of sand in, and it the plants won't grow as well because we've not got them all. If you can hear that plane, but it's a really loud plane. And then what I tend to do, I don't know if you do the same, but sometimes put some like little rocks at the front. To make yeah, it just to like, make it look natural. Yeah. Face up again. So before we get back to the tank, the pond is growing absolutely lovely in the in the sunshine. The fish are happy, really happy. I posted a really short video earlier of just the fish coming up and eating. If you could see that, it's quite hard to see, but everything is looking amazing. Look how tall these are growing. Yeah. Right up there. Yeah, I know, right up there. And the flowers look absolutely amazing. So yeah. If you like the video if you want to have another vi of a garden update of everything in the garden. Let's show them the mini pond. Oh yeah, mini pond. Mini pond's doing well as well. Very it's, in, it's in the shade, but it's good, it works well. So, we've got all of the hardscape we're going to be putting in. Absolute tons of it. Loads of rocks, loads of twigs, loads of bits of driftwood, bogwood. We've got everything. We're going to find some pieces we'll want to put in and then we'll show you the pieces we got. First, we've got the rocks we want to put in. I've just found this. Now I've this. found this gives, around the pond and it looks really natural. It gives more of like a natural look than like a smooth, rounded rock. You yeah. know what I mean? So, so it's also like the perfect size yeah, holes. So let's, yeah, let's put that. this in. And we can put plants in the holes as well. So, what do you reckon? Do you like that? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking you could maybe even like tilt it a bit. Yeah, the only thing is that side is looking really flat. Maybe even we could yeah, put yeah, it up yeah. like that. So that out in the water, so somewhere around. they can climb. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. And then we've okay. got these like this river stone rock. This little one can just place these ones anywhere really, just yeah, these uh, yeah. Alright, we'll choose some wood and then show you it. So we've got our wood selection here. We'll put the driftwood in after we've got all of these little twigs in. We want to sort of put them in the hole so they don't float up. See these sort of ones you could put place that under there. And you can always put like that on. Just get like that and look. What you can do is you can literally do that just make sure the end. Up. and then we have really unnatural 
from you. And then we've got this one. Maybe you want to give it like a mangrovey effect sort of thing. That's going to float. Maybe put it under. Like that. There we go. Sticking up yeah. there. And then I don't know if we can fit these in, to be honest. So you what, this, this one. This bit would could I can go. maybe. I don't want anything touching the front. Kind of it's like really hard to clean. On the back there. Yeah, that looks good. Like mixing in with the effect of that. I don't know if we can get this in. And this could potentially maybe in there, but I was thinking could do that. I was also thinking maybe like around the corner kind of like around there or like around that, like that. Yeah, that looks good. There we go. That looks nice. Yeah. Right. I'm going to escape at the back here. And what we would like to do sometimes is you just put some of that in there and it just makes it look... It makes it look like it's just being washed up by the sea. And the natural effect, sometimes you don't like it, but sometimes it can make the perfection you to a higher it. scale, completely higher scale. I think that definitely moving like... I don't even like that. Let's get out. Yeah. I think... Or you could put it in that. Nah, it looks a bit gritty. Yeah, right, these smoother ones. We're really... gonna go on a walk in a bit to find some plants for this well, and some stuff. Well, 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 we have plant. We have some plants, but but we'll, we'll put some of those in next clip. Yeah, and then we'll go and look for some more. All right, see you in a bit. So we've chosen some of the plants we've got. We've got a really nice sort of grassy look for this one. This one, we've got the roots on that. That's gonna grow crazy. Now we just yeah. need to place them. So we could get the tweezers so we can put them in easier. You think, well, this one. Oh, big, yeah, you can so. just chuck it in there or something. Maybe at the back there. Sort of looks like Java fern. Mm. It sort of has Maybe the sort there, of fern yeah. effect. And later, when we go out, we'll, we'll film it and we'll grab some ferns. Like that? These sort of ferns here. But they're all dead because I have been on holiday and they just died because it got too hot. Like that. that looks nice. Coming over. That looks yeah. very nice. Right, and then we've got this. this. That does not go that way. Because the roots are there. No, but then it's a bit weird, guys. The roots are. Yeah, should we not use this? Yeah, let's try and find a different bit. Just like this. That's the, that's the same grass, but it's just probably bigger or smaller. Let's have a look at that. Do you reckon that could go in, in like this sort of bit? Yeah, there? maybe. Try it. Try it, see what it looks like. So guys, don't be afraid to like move the thing around. If you don't like it, move yeah, it. move it. Because it's, it's, there's no use of making a tank and then be like, oh, I don't like it, having to redo it. Because that's what my friend did. Well, that really annoys me when people do that. And that's, that's all right. And it gives them somewhere to hide as well. I think that's really good. I think we're going to leave this but until we go on that walk and grab some more stuff. Because we want to get plants that... Place plants. Uh, we don't, we don't want to have the original plants that we have. That's we want to get something that. unique to put in here. So, we'll see you guys in a bit yeah, when we're going on the walk. Yeah, the guys, we're on the walk. We've got two buckets ready. Um, just going down this tunnel at the moment. Hopefully we'll find some stuff and some spots. So, we've been on a walk and we've got a bucket full of toads to put in the tank. And then we've got some of this watercress some stuff. Of well, I don't think dead. it is watercress, but it's just some, something I found on the road. I've got it in a lot of tanks. I've got it in this tank. Quite a lot in there. look nice? Well, we'll put yeah. it in in a second. I know, but I was just like, them. So, uh, we're gonna, just going to put this plant mm -hmm. over there. There we go. Yeah, I'll see. So we've got all of the toads here. Just get them in. Gonna be a bit frightened at the start, but they should just go. Yeah, so I've got some duckweed just to put in there to make it look a bit greener. I'm not putting much in because it will grow. <laughs> so thanks for watching. This tank ended up really well. Really happy with it. 
hopefully the plants go really well. I'll do an update next week. Actually, maybe not. I'm on holiday again. But when I'm free, I'll do an uh, update, see how the plants are doing, see how the toads are doing. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you later. Goodbye. Bye.